Hi everyone, welcome back. Let me see what wants to come out today. I'm going today, I'm going to specifically look at a no contact situation. So if you're in no contact at all, or if you've been ghosted, or you didn't have closure, I'm going to see what's going on there. So let's have a look. Oh, that wants to come out. Three of these. See, all your person, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, your person's got low self-esteem. All right, that could have been one of the issues in your relationship, one of the things that, you know, sparked off some problems. They feel unworthy, okay? I have a feeling that because of this person's self, low self-esteem, instead of them working on that and realising their issues and their problems, they literally projected all their, yeah, all their stuff, stuff's a good word, onto you, okay? They feel it's too late to take action at the moment. They feel that too much time's passed. Okay, so specifically, I feel this is for those of you today who have been in separation for a while or you've had no real answers. I'm, I'm really getting that today, that you've had no answers. I'm not even getting that you particularly want to rejuvenate the relationship. I think you would have just liked somebody to apologize that's what i'm feeling today your person is struggling to find the right path so i don't feel they're in a good place okay they've got low self-esteem whatever problems and issues they had when they were with you they have taken them elsewhere okay they've taken them somewhere else so it's almost as if they were oh you know if i walk away from this situation things will get better i think they go for new situations and new people because they do have such a low self-esteem almost like they're a bit empty inside so i'm going to go into that a little bit deeper um just while i'm shuffling though well you've probably noticed i'm in a different setup if you watch me regularly i'm just on the move at the moment so i've managed to find a little corner with a little table so that's why I'm sat in front of a wardrobe. <laughs> anyway, just while I'm shuffling these, if you would like a reading, if you just click on the title of the video, it's all underneath, and the free relationship report. And also, if you like the content, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing and hitting that notification bell, because apparently that does something. Right. I wish to be like you. Yeah. I cry at night. Life without you is hopeless, dark and depressing. I miss your light. Yeah. You know, I'm just hearing they fed off your light. They just fed off your energy, the light and the love that you projected. Okay. I think you triggered a lot in this person. I think your light was too much for them. I feel with these cards already that's out and what I'm hearing is that they were drawn to you because of your light your personality, your love of life, just your general happiness, okay? They were drawn to that. But I feel they sucked the living daylights, as we say in the UK, out of you. They sucked all your energy out of you. They fed off your energy, you know, like um, possibly even narcissistic, you know, where somebody is just very, very empty inside. It's almost like a bit soulless, I feel. Um, and then their personality kind of splits. Y you know, they they give you everything to start with because they want your, your energy, they want your light. And then they leave. But they don't give you any answers. Your person's very upset at the moment because they're crying at night, okay? This person's crying at night, but... They're crying because they think they've left it too late. They want to be like you, okay? It, it is a really sad energy today because I do feel this person was very attracted to your personality, like I've said, and, you know, just how you are generally in life. But then they became jealous of that. And I feel then they sucked the living daylights out of you and then started to devalue you. I feel you've been devalued in this. Okay, let's see what's going on in this person's environment. Let's see where they're at at the moment. I'm going to look at their environment. So that is always a big clue. And then the thoughts and feelings of you at the moment with my tarot deck. 
let's have a look. Oh, they want to move from where they are. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. They are feeling really stuck. Okay, they're feeling really stuck where they are. Their energy is going in two different directions. They do not have control of their life. Okay, they literally are struggling to find the right path because the chariot's come out in a negative position for me today. So the chariot, when it's in a good, good, positive way, it's going forward, successful. You know, you've got, you've got, you've kind of got hold of the reins. In this position, it means that they feel they've made the wrong choice. Their energy is all over the place. Okay, they're stuck. They would like to get out of where they are. So there's also a selfish energy in their environment. Um, again, with this card in a love reading for me, I always feel it's a selfish energy. They could be in an environment where they thought they were going to get a leg up or they were going to do better there. Uh, you know, it is a social climate. It's somebody who goes for what they want regardless of the consequences. Okay, regardless. okay yeah pretty simple really yeah i said they wanted to move i was feeling that with the chariot the eight of wands has come out another moving card they want to leave where they are okay the only thing is sat in the middle is we have the four of pentacles so either they're holding on too tightly to a situation they're in that they don't want to be in but they're having to hold on for a reason or somebody else is controlling them. They could be controlling them on the physical, but somebody could also be controlling the money. All right, your person might not have access to the funds they need to actually get out of this situation they are in. I feel that your person doesn't think things through properly. It's almost as if they, the energy of somebody who can leave one situation, even if they've been in it for years, okay, even if they've been in this situation for like 20 years, okay, they walk out the door, they've gone, and it's like it didn't exist, okay, they have no um, almost object permanence, it is the energy of somebody who, who can do that, but also even if they go away, um, it's like you're not there, so they don't answer your messages. It's almost like you've disappeared. But I feel what they've done this time is they've gone into this new situation. Okay, they haven't thought it through. They've, in, they've kind of invested their time, energy, and possibly money. But now they can't get out. They just can't get out. What else is going on here? This is quite interesting, actually. They want to come forward. Why can't they get out? Right, okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's a female energy, um, as you heard, I'm asking why they can't get out. Female energy in their surroundings who is possibly Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Sun, Moon or Rising. It is a female who, either one of two things, this female is actually either a very good businesswoman, very good with money and is quite materialistic and knows how to manage the money, okay? This is an energy of a female who knows how to manage the money. So what I'm hearing today is this female has more control. It's the female that's literally controlling, controlling the money at the moment. Or the other energy of this female energy is somebody who is absolutely so materialistic and they want everything, but they won't do any work. Okay, they won't do any work at all and they can be quite lazy and, you know, they just don't really want to do anything. But it is, the blockage here is a female energy that's blocking this connection, okay? So that, I feel, is the main problem today. Your person wants to get out, but, you know, with this, this card particularly, this is, um, for me... All tarot readers read differently, but I've always, over donkey's years, this is always a female energy. It could be a mother, it could be a sister, but it's someone once they get their feet under the table, um, they will hang on. 
especially if money's concerned or status because the chariot's in this little spread of the environment as well and status is a big thing with the chariot it is a big social you know two people who want to be if not well known in their arena they want to be seen to be keeping up with the joneses now that might be a uk saying um, it just means they want to be keeping up with their neighbours, you know, somebody who might have a little bit more and they feel like, oh, they've got a new car, we need to get one now, even though there's actually nothing wrong with the car they've got. That's what's going in your, on in your person's environment. Okay, I'm going to just get these out a bit more specific. Your person's changed their mind about this though. Oh dear, break up separation bang in the middle yeah your person's changed their mind about it okay they want to separate they want to get out of this all right there's some silent treatment going on in their environment which again the four of pentacles that is also an energy of somebody who will emotion become emotionally avoidant okay where they will just pull back their energy sit and sulk or they will use the silent treatment as a weapon you know so there's all that going on your person wants to get out of this rather messy situation yeah somebody you're connected into has got themselves into a karmic relationship okay there's a lot of turmoil where they are now a lot of resentment a lot of bitterness they want to let go they want to come back to you but you know if they put you through this and i do feel it's somebody who just literally after a long period of time with someone someone who just literally walked out and you didn't you didn't bloody exist you know and i feel that it's somebody who hasn't really learned i don't know i just don't feel this person has learned the lesson today and for those of you who watch me you know that if i do feel but i just don't feel they've learned the lesson i feel they're stubborn and i feel they're selfish okay probably sounds a bit harsh but it's just what I'm channeling. So yeah, they're in a karmic situation. Karmic doesn't mean third party. You know, like isn't another man or another woman or just another, you know, another person. It can mean a relative. It can mean a, mean a friendship. You know, you can be in a karmic sort of relationship with your relatives. They want to get out of that though. Whoa, right. Let's really get dig some dirt up now this little enorm on deck okay spirit please give me a little bit more on this environment you probably might be able to hear my cat wowing my cat is not sure where he, where he is at the moment okay new beginning wow double new beginning gosh Very childish energy, spiteful energy. Spiteful, spiteful energy. Yeah, and the stork. New beginning. Someone wants to move forward. But again, the stork for me is always grass is greener and it is an energy of somebody who left you. If I'm reading this on you in the past, they left you, but it caused a mess. You know, they just take off and there's just all this kind of mess. They want to leave. They want a new beginning. Let's just have two more, reader. This has been going on for a while. Okay, I'm narrowing it down for you. It's somebody I feel who could be older than you. Okay, they could be connected into parents here. I've got a child-parent relationship or child-family. Um... This has been going on for a long period of time. Oh. Yeah, the grave. Okay, they want to end the situation, grave, okay. They want to end the situation they're in. This has been going on for a while. Um, I feel they are older than you, again, specifically. And they want to come in and they want to move forward because they want a new beginning. I've got a double new beginning here. 
let's just have one on that one, please. Yeah, they're hoping that if they seduce you, okay, I'm going to say it, that if they seduce you and they flirt with you and they turn the charm on with you again, I think this person has a personality at times where they do split. Okay, because they don't have, there's something, and it always goes back to childhood with all of us at some point, that there's something, some attachment style or some way of keeping themselves safe that they will just split. You know, it could have been something really, really silly where literally they're there one day and then they've gone the next, okay? But they are hoping that you will hook up with them again, okay? But this card is actually a card of third party interference. So I'm, as I'm, I was saying earlier, I'm feeling earlier that I'm not sure you'll want to do this. Because I don't even know if you really want all that chaos again. I just see chaos. And you know, I don't know, I think in life, you, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And the trouble is, I feel this person today has really projected all their, their crap onto you and then blamed it on you. And I feel for you today, it, it could have been anybody they did this to. It's just really unfortunate, really, really unfortunate that sometimes we meet people like this and they're very charming to start with. And I feel that's the energy they want to bring back in. They're very charming, but they're very clever. Okay, and they don't, they don't have any remorse. I'm not feeling remorse here. I'm feeling victim. They will never ever see themselves as somebody who needs to take responsibility. They always play the victim, this person. That's where I'm getting the, you know, the crying from. Life without you is hopeless, dark and depressing. They miss your light. They miss your lovely way of seeing two sides to a story I just heard, that you will always listen. You were always willing to to go the extra mile to forgive, okay? That's what they miss. Because this female energy, as I explained earlier, um, is not like you. I think they were drawn to something like a bee to a honey pot because of something on a material level. But now they're stuck. And they've realized that the material things aren't everything, okay? Right, let's see, let's just see, let's have a look at thoughts and feelings, please. Thoughts and feelings. Ace of Cups, yeah. This for me is them wanting to come back in for a new beginning. Um, an Ace is a beginning card, but in this reading, what I've been picking up from the get-go is that this is somebody you've been in separation for for a while, okay? Yeah, they want to come in and apologise. Well, <sighs> apologise. They, they, they want to come back in and, and um, try again. Okay? They're going to come back in and say they still love you. What else, please? Yeah, King of Cups. Mm-hmm. There's absolutely this person is coming back in. Yeah, four of cups at the bottom. I'm going to read that, you know, I'll tell you why. Because what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling is because of the overall energy of this reading, you know, it depends on your read really, on your cards and what, what's coming through. In a really positive reading or more positive reading, then yeah, great. But in this reading, to me, the king of cups is someone who is emotionally manipulative. It's going back to what I was getting with the silent treatment and it is somebody who will maybe speak to you for a few days and you think it's okay and then they won't or say you've got a family function planned or Christmas or something and they will ruin it for you or you go on holiday and they sulk or they just ruin the atmosphere okay yeah this person for whoever this is for today Someone is going to contact you, okay? Could be water sign here, 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they can be really emotionally cold. You know, they... they especially with a chariot, a really probably strong cancer actually, they can literally have that shell around them and they are emotionally manipulative and the, the trouble is, and I, and I was getting earlier, this unworthiness and this self-esteem with your person is going back to their childhood, I feel, where they their, their emotional growth in some shape or form was stunted, possibly by a father figure, okay, but now this, your person has got this energy, they will manipulate emotions, they will go into victim mode, they could even have some addictions that they use to mask this instead of facing it. And they will, and they will bring up arguments from, oh, just an example, you know, from 20 years ago. Okay, they use their emotions as a weapon. So the silent treatment now I feel very strongly they will weaponize that. And it is, it's cruel, it, you know, so the silent treatment is, is a form of abuse. Um, and the trouble with the silent treatment towards the end of it, um, you're the one that thinks you're going crazy. You're the one that sometimes you can actually think you become the, <laughs> the abusive one, but you're not, you're, you've never been the abusive one because if you, if you are subjected to this kind of energy, right, you will end up literally either losing it or, I mean, it's just an example, you know, hurling a plant pot at them just just to get some reaction. But then with this energy, the trouble is sometimes then they will use that against you and then they tell everybody that you're the drama person. And some of them, I, I feel, I just heard someone even record it, you know, some will even record it. Mm, right, one more thoughts and feelings. I want to see, because at the bottom of the deck I've got the Four of Cups. It's like they get bored. Okay, Four of Cups again is another Four, like the Four of Pentacles. It is emotionally pushing you away. It's like, oh no, I don't want that. I want this. It's like you don't exist. It doesn't matter what you do, how you are. You know, you could literally walk 20 miles naked and barefoot. And they, you know, to try and appease someone, I just wouldn't. You just wouldn't. You would, would never win. I don't feel today, and I know it's a bit strong, but it's what I'm channeling. I don't feel today you would ever win with a person like this. Okay. I'm going to see what's really going on. Right. Deep down, deep down, deep down. The moon. Yeah. Deep down, the moon. All is not as it seems, okay, it's just not, the moon is all about unknown outcomes, it's all about anxiety, with this, with this king of cups, it's all about very deep emotions that are buried deep, that your person feels really uncomfortable about expressing, okay, so I feel they're going to come forward, but with the moon there, all is not as it seems, okay? It's not. I feel that this person coming back in could cause you some anxiety. Just going to see what advice we can get for you today. Yeah. Do you know, the advice for you today with this card is enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life, go out with your friends, socialise, just go out. Just enjoy other people's company, okay? Don't spend, or, or I'm not saying not give this person any energy because this is specific. I mean, you know, if you've been in this kind of relationship, this is for you. Because I, I just heard that for some of you, this person isolated you from your friends or you feel you didn't have a good friend group and you could have just started to make new friends. Don't let that go, okay? Hold on to your own life, your own boundaries. Don't let this person, I just heard, suck any more energy. One more advice, yeah. 
keep doing you be the six of wands ride high hold your head high and carry on with whatever makes you happy put your energy and your excitement into other things okay into other things at the moment if you are working on something or you're waiting for something to come in with the three of cups and the six of wands is a massive celebration for you you'll know what you're waiting for i don't know job uh new home vacation or maybe you're just m making new friends after this because if you were in this i feel you are quite isolated i feel that when you did anything or you went any anywhere when you came back, it was always a big deal. You know, you are just living on your nerves a bit. You've got that coming, that is beautiful. But yeah, I do see with this that your person is gonna come back in, okay? But there is that energy in their environment. Just two more. I know it's going on a bit longer today, but um, I just, interesting hmm. yeah they've <laughs> this just 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 an add on here that this person also kept things secret from you with regards to their family okay they could have been from quite a childish family a different family to yours quite a childish family they're quite a secretive family okay and it's a family who thinks they're better than other families all right they're quite a clicky family but they think they're better but actually they're not they're quite secretive okay and when anything happens they close ranks i just heard close ranks but they think that they're better so that might narrow it down if you're sure today anyway i hope that has helped somebody take good care of yourself and and you know remember if, if this is for you today just remember how amazing you are and also be go easy on yourself if, if you think just if this is for you today and you're thinking gosh keely you know why am i even bothering wondering what this person's doing or or, or all of that it's because these kind of relationships cause trauma bonds and it's the same as anything you know that's how the brain synapses wire so you almost become addicted to it you know it's proven it's um you know it's a scientific thing you 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 become addicted to it it's like breaking any addiction with a relationship like this but you are worthy you are amazing and you are worthwhile okay and I don't feel today it wouldn't have mattered what you did or what you said. You would never have changed this person. Okay, you, you know, I'm going to say I feel really strongly today, whoever this is for, you're worth more. Okay, so sending you big love, big hugs. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.